We are back. I'm your host, Carl Chamley, here with Court Stoskov. We're broadcasting live from, no, I was going to say KB's, from National Hardware Show in Vegas. I was just there last week. This is where you see all the cool tools and all the accessories and what have you. And we've got a gentleman sitting opposite right now from a company called Spider, Ryan Campbell. Welcome to the show, buddy. Thank you. Mate, it's, it's great to have a good tool, um, but really the tool's as good as the bit. We've got a cordless yeah. screw run and we get a number two Phillips head. I'll tell you what, if it's, if it's a cheap piece of CRA AP, it's useless. Um, if you've got a jigsaw and you've got some poor blades, it's not worth much at all. It's you, a fire starter is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it is. Yeah, you just keep it running long enough, it'll smoke and you'll get a flame. You guys, okay, you've got jigsaw blades, but what's unique about these is you've got the blade on both edges. A typical jigsaw blade, guys, you've got a smooth shard, a smooth edge, and you've got the blade on the, the teeth on the other side. You've got it on both sides. Why is that? That's right. I mean, uh, in, within jigsaw blades, there hasn't been a ton of innovation recently. Um, now that we have double-sided, you can actually do extremely tight radius turns. So 90-degree turns, you can literally pivot and come out same, the same entry point. Um, you can back it up. That's right. You can back it up and do your back cuts. So any cut that you would ever have to do in wood um, or laminate materials, et cetera, this product's going to be able to do it. i tell you what's, what I love about this is because let's say, you know, we've, we've, we've cutting out like um, we've got a wooden countertop, right? And we're cutting out for the sink. You drill the holes in, in a corner and uh, let's say you've, you've drilled one and, and you're going around and you've got to back up a little bit. Well, most blades break because people are pulling it out before the jigsaw oh, has yeah, stopped. Oh, yeah, it just beats itself. Yeah, it's, like down, yeah. it's gone bang, you know, mm -hmm, yeah. and it's bent the darn thing and you try to straighten a little bit and then when you cut it, you're cutting it at a bevel and then, you know, you've got to put it back down again. Because it's a double edge, you go up and you back it right into the corner. Man, that is, that well, is for, for us... You know, and, and, and stuff. Carl, this is yeah, because cool. all the tight, you know, they have had a few bits that were for tight curves. The problem was, is because of the width of the blade. I mean, yeah, it's right. a quarter of an inch or a little better. You can only, I mean, you can only get well, the radius exactly. so Exactly, and so the problem is it was like this 16th inch wide blade that just wasn't able up to it. And it yeah. just it couldn't handle the heat and a bunch of other things. And it just didn't work. I yeah. mean, and so you was like, oh, okay, what am I going to do? And so, like you say, you try to drill the hole the right size, use a hole saw so you got the curve you want or whatever. And yeah. then you try to line it up. It just doesn't work. Uh, this fixes all of it that. It is, and instead of doing your four holes, you can do one and you zip around with this. Right, you? cut to the That's line right. and you're yeah. good to go. So yeah. you go around, you, you're right up to the line, you got to back back a little bit, do the radius, and then just back into the corner and, yeah. and out it drops. That's right, and the strength of the blade is far superior. Um, it, this is going to have a standard jigsaw type strength. Um, typically, when you go to the blades that have tight radius turns, they're they're very short and yeah, they, yeah they're very weak and they bend and break. And this right. blade's not going to do that. It's going to hold up for a very long period of time. That's true. And I don't know what it is about about the jigsaw, but you know the thicker the material, the chances of you getting that getting a vertical cut and yeah. not at a beveled angle it's really it's really tricky well, it has i to use do a jigsaw with the for everything the blade. yeah and that's exactly. why this has this has the beef and they've used the kind of steel that's yeah. right you know yeah. i mean it's, it's like more rigid it, well it's and they've used good steel i mean there's yeah. a huge difference and so i mean this fixes all the problems so now your jigsaw is actually back to being the tool you thought it was when you first bought it exactly you know? and, <laughs> right. and you were saying it's made in germany it's a yeah. german made blade with german okay. made steel Okay, so it's the BMW of the Spider. Absolutely. Exactly. Mate, very, very neat. Now, how many, so where can people expect to see these? Do uh, you have these distributed now? We do. They'll be available uh, in July at all those locations. Oh, okay. Uh, so you guys along with our other Spider July. products. <clears throat> very cool. What else does our Spider make? Uh, we make uh, double edged reciprocating saw blades. Um, oh, boy. By metal, uh, three different sizes of those. So it can cut through uh, nail Nails. embedded wood, oh, steel wow. pipe, nice. uh, et cetera. It's a very high quality blade and it has a, uh, a nose that allows you to easily plunge cut wow. without bending or breaking the blade. So it's absolutely oh, innovative. Really? What's it like at a radius at the end of the blade? Absolutely. So you can start it and go down, 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 plunge cut all you the can, way through. You can ease very quickly into your cut, nice. plunges in, straight, fine cut on, uh, on both sides. So. We uh, got to go by the spider that's booth a bit and see of a, what they got. Yeah, that's yeah. a bit of a science actually, because yeah. you know you can do it with a lot of the blades, but it's like, well, how do you design it to where you go down? Because if you wrap the teeth all the way around the radius, it's going to hit and it's going to grab and it's going to push it out. 
Well, and like you say, it's a little bit of technique, yeah. which, you know, I mean, what in life shouldn't have a little bit of intelligence. Little, yeah, I mean, you, you know, so you have to play with it a little bit. But, you know, because you'd mentioned it, with reciprocating saws and with sawzalls, I mean, you've got to be careful. You don't want to pull that thing out once you got the hole going, yeah. unless you really are paying attention, because it's going to do some weird things. I've been doing shows for, like, about uh, 10 years, and I've always got to say it. Before, you know, we're on, on television, we're saying, okay, now, be, now before you actually do that cut, make sure... Make sure it's stopped before you pull it out and make sure you, you know, like with a circular saw, make sure it's running before you depress it. Um, this is going to save a lot of that hassle. Yeah, absolutely. Certainly you have to be careful when you're using sure. power tools. But uh, there's also nothing that's more fun to use, uh, in my opinion, yeah. uh, than, than power tools, power tool accessories. And going back when I was doing my apprenticeship as a chippy, as a carpenter, um, the saying is, is that you'll do more damage to yourself with a blunt chisel. Oh, absolutely. And yeah, the, the same dangerous goes, one, yeah. yeah, and the same goes for, um, you know, good quality blades and what have you. Exactly. Absolutely. Man, that's awesome. Um, Price-wise, a little bit more expensive than the than the norm? Well, certainly the, uh, you know, the it, it's good steel and it's done right. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it, but it's going to probably pay off in the long run because this right. blade's going to last that's you 10 times longer say. than the other you're ones. You're paying a little bit more, but you're really probably saving twice the amount of money because you're using one blade and you're not going through two. It's a fantastic value for the consumer. Um, we have packages that are going to range from four dollars and fifty cents to oh. to seven dollars a package. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so a package, there's two blades in a pack. Two blades in a package. Love it, love it. All righties, that's Ryan Campbell from Spider Products, SpiderProducts.com. Absolutely, thank and, you. Thanks for joining us, man. It's a pleasure. Appreciate it. Love the good stuff like this. All right, guys. I'm your host, Carl Chamley, here with Court Stoskoff, and let you know the show is brought to you by Craftsman Trust in your hands. Available at Sears and Ace. This is Home Live Radio.